Hello all my brally, hope you are doing well as always. Here is a cool hybrid picking lick idea. So, I know that was super duper fast, but it can be played slow, it can be played anything. The main thing is to start getting this idea of hybrid picking in. Um, I do a lot of hybrid picking. I, it's been a big part of my playing since I started playing guitar. My guitar teacher played hybrid picking and I just did it from there. So, and that was over 25 years ago. So um, before I even knew it was hybrid picking, he just said, oh, you're gonna, I used to hold a pick like that with my first finger and second finger. And he said to me, um, you're gonna wanna just hold it with your thumb and first finger because you want those back three for your, you know, for hybrid picking or picking fingers, he might have called it. And I thought, what do you mean? You just use a pick, don't you? But I'm so glad he did because it's such, it's such a big part of my playing and I love the sound of it. And there's stuff you can do with picking fingers, hybrid picking, uh, what you can't do with just a pick. Especially that. You know, that kind of chicken picking kind of thing, all right? So uh, let me turn off my little overdrive, the Seymour Duncanator 5 I just had on. So um, I've got my Strat, I've got my Bradcaster, middle and bridge pickup on. So this is in C, kind of a C dominant, C blues. Um, and even if you take some of this, um, you know, because I've literally just come up with the idea 30 seconds before I hit record. <laughs> so even if you can take some of this on board, you know, and the point is just to start putting these fingers in in everything you're doing, you know, it doesn't have to be. You know, it's just a big part of my plane. It's not like right now I'm gonna do hyper picket. So just, just that on its own. So the notes I'm doing first, I'm doing a minor third, major third in C. What's that, E flat to E. And then I'm playing the G note on the eighth fret and I'm using my favorite finger for that. Um, but my other finger's coming as well. So when I first started playing, I would have just used that for lead stuff, sorry. It's in guitar terms, so it's not swearing. Um, but uh, my third finger will come in and my pinky at times as well. So let's try that as a little exercise. So we're hammering eight to nine, plucking the second string of my finger. And then I'm going back to the eighth fret. And you could try using your third finger on that second string. Hammer on to 10, let's do it like that. And then playing that eighth fret on the first string. Now with the pick, it's all right, but it's kind of better with the fingers, you know? And that is just kind of shape two, if you will. But there you can see I kind of put in my first finger, uh, sorry, the second finger came in for that. Yeah, that cool snap, what you don't necessarily get as much with the pick. Then I'm doing that, kind of a classic kind of country pedal steel idea. Bending up that second string on the 10th fret, holding it and then playing the, the D note on the 10th fret first string and then bringing it down to the 8th fret. So you want that all to be ringing out. And then I kind of do this little chicken picking idea uh, which you definitely can't do without using your fingers. So, um, I can't remember I did it exactly. Yeah, so I might have done something like that. And it will kind of pull off 10, eight. 
10898. And then, so basically the idea of it here, say I'm on the 10th fret, I'm gonna go back to the 5th fret. Um, if that's the string, the pick uh, and the finger are on the string at the same time, and I wanna pick it with the plectrum, and you get that cla, and then my second finger is gonna snap on the string and you get the note. So, pick, and then finger, you get that. <laughs> that idea, right? So there, I'm just doing it from the 8th fret. We can do this in a little practice. Yeah, so I think I did like that. So you've got 10th fret, 2nd string, then 8, then 7, then 6, then 5. Then 8, 5. 8 on the 3rd string, 5 on the 2nd. Slide 8 to 7. 5, 7 on the 4th. 5 again, root note. Then all kind of 6th. Uh, seven to nine. You got there. There's an idea there, you know. Bob, no, putting it all. point is just to start bringing it into your everyday plane so you don't want to be thinking okay now I'm gonna do this now I'm gonna do that you know so just start throwing it in so that's like you know so I'm on that eight nine sorry eight ten then I'm picking it on the tenth fret on the first sorry the eighth fret on the first string Go down to the 10th, back to the 10 on the second, 11 on the first, 10 on the second. So if you think shape one and shape two, and it's fine. Those little ideas there. in with what we were doing earlier, all right? There. Uh, full string with my second finger, third string with my third. That's a C chord, all right? Five to seven, five on the fourth, five on the third, all right? So hopefully this is making you want to get into hybrid picking and I should say uh, if you've never done hybrid picking before do check out a video on my website and uh, I kind of go into 
the beginning depths of it all and show some ideas of getting these all in there. So definitely check out my website uh, and you'll see a hybrid picking lesson. I'll put a link in the description box below. But uh, you know, it's one thing just learning a lick like this, but I think it's important to uh, get the the meat and potatoes of anything. So then, like I've been saying to you, you can kind of start incorporating it into your everyday playing. Then it's not a lick anymore. It's just you know you your your average playing, or not your average sorry playing, just your general playing. So uh, yeah, definitely check that out and uh, and let me know how you get on with it. But uh, it's like I say, hopefully it's made you think it's a cool thing to start doing hyper picking instead of everything just being on the flat pick and you know down up down up which is still cool you know don't get you wrong you know if you're all that kind of stuff you know but uh you know doing stuff like that with hyper picking you're you're kind of you're going to be going places <laughs> anyway lots of love as always i've been mike bradley and uh make sure you give the video a little like if you liked it and let me know how you get on with it as well. Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you soon. Mike Bradley signing out. Bye. Fade it away.